Hey everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 4. So in this episode, I am going to head over to the giant... Okay, uh, I'm going to check out this ship here because it's got robots on it. And I remember the quest being, so like the quest line being somewhat wacky and interesting. So, let's check it out. I can't, re I can't quite remember if I get anything from this. Either. So. Scanning. Scanning. Accessing pre war records. Record found. 108th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Battalion. Ahoy there. Tis Providence, a member of the Congressional Army, is delivered to us in our hour of need. I was in the Army, but what's the Congressional Army? Standing order, sir. Proclamation 3. All members of the U.S. Army are hereby members of the Congressional Army. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. At the double quick, sir. Okay. Last voyage of the USS Constitution. How do I get up there? Uh... Hey. Okay, so this this ship is part of a congressional army. Me uh or where do I go? This is the captain speaking. We're taking on an allied soldier. Clear the berth, disable defenses, make way. Okay. This is peculiar. Midshipmen, stand down. Stand down, I say. This soldier is a guest on our vessel. Please afford him all appropriate courtesies. All is well. Unidentified. Intruder. Intruder. Mr. First Meet, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission to use lethal force. Wait, what, what, you're gonna kill me? That is the definition of lethal force. Affirmative. Stand down! That's an order! And for God's sake, use the accent! I, Captain, standing down. All right, <laughs> so almost died once. Almost died once, and I haven't even gotten to the top of the ship. For the captain to give me a quest. So yeah, this is just one of like the random bits you guys come across in the game. Um. Mm. Can't I can't li really can't remember anything about this quest, other than I think they're trying to get the ship to fly. That's all I remember. Oh, that that's the USS Constitution. I hear it's parked up there for tax. I wonder who. What? I have none of your lip, Mister Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. First mate, Congressional Army? Wh why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. Why are you even here, on this ship? It's ancient. This vessel has more than once been the seat of our great nation's naval power. Is it not fitting she don this mantle again? And you're in charge here? What? As ordained by the chain of command, the links of which start with our most august admirals and plummet to the lowliest of sentry bots. 
After all our brothers in arms perished, I reluctantly assumed command. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. Be calm these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings alone! I spit at you. How did it even get up here? Huh, I never thought about that. Yeah, how did it get up here? A harrowing tale of that there can be no doubt. Or I should say, I assume it is. I came upon her as she is, atop the Sargasso Sea of rubble and misfortune. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. If I help you, I expect part of the payment up front. For your services, you will get your fair share of the prize money at the end of the voyage, the same as the rest of the crew. I consider this matter resolved. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. So he has two guns for arms and he's a tight-fisted bastard. Alright. Whoa. Why am I being shot at? I don't even have anything for long range, do I? I got rid of all my long range weapons. Okay. Well, nah, they seem to be doing okay on their own. I got a bunch of uh, people to talk to, so I'll just leave the captain fight the raiders, scavengers, whatever. I need to go and talk to the bosun and Na Mr. Navigator. Your very presence does this humble unit a great honor. My programming would find it amiss if I did not also interject. Long live the captain! Do you often just interject, as you put it? Indeed I do. I exclaim from exuberance, and not because I've been reprogrammed five times to wholeheartedly embrace these marvelous turns of phrase and anachronisms. My metal heart burns with a fierce love and affection for our captain. Huzzah! Why were you reprogrammed? Was the captain involved? I will confide this only as a cautionary tale. The captain requires all crew to speak in the proper idiom. We are the inheritors of a sacred tradition. There was a time I thought he was, well, balmy. With my new programming, I see his incalculable wisdom. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, sir. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. I'll get right on it. My anxiety emulators are lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept 
my undying gratitude. Uh, okay. Cool. So this is where the intelligence perk comes in handy. And done. Nice. Probably go and buy one of these things. Yeah. Hey, Bosun. Power flows far and steady. I would applaud you. Alas, cannot due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, sir! Huzzah! Huzzah! Well, you're very welcome, Boston. You are too kind. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator has also been sent by drones. Scuttle buddies, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. Okay, where is he? Ah, uh, I have to get rid of those guys. Fair enough. Well, that teaches me for just running off and leaving robots to do my dirty work. Don't know why it's my dirty work. They're not necessarily attacking me, they're just attacking the ship I happen to be on at this present point in time. But, you know, logic doesn't work like that in video games. So I just have to go and kill these guys. Now I get to go and talk to the navigator. See what he's up to. And this will be the quest uh, where I find out the navigator is just like miles away. 
at least two or three sections away from me, out on patrol somewhere. Yeah, that does seem to be the case. I think he's, I think he's one of the, the handy guy, handymen, whatever they're called. Uh, uh, Codsworths. <laughs> I'll just call them Codsworths from now. Um, yeah, I think he was one of the Codsworths I was like, fighting in the street. Fighting the scavengers, hand to hand, or claw to fist, or whatever. Or <laughs> however way you want to put it. So, yeah. I'm going to have to go down there and find him. Either that or he'll just fly past me or get by me somehow. Oh, that? That's the USS Constitution. I hear it's parked up there for tax purposes. Threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. Why did the scavengers attack? Scavengers have attacked ship 17 times. Destroyed 13% of ship's systems. Stole 5% of ship's store. Logic error. Captain's orders authorize scavenger termination only if necessary to preserve the ship. If they've attacked you 17 times, why don't you fight back? This unit suggests Captain's core processes in need of extensive maintenance. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. Who stole your guidance chip? Guidance chip is one entry on the list of stolen items. Reclaim chip at Scavenger's forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. Aft dinghy? I wonder if there's actually like a ship I could jump on. Like an actual boat that'll just lower me up and down. Okay, this is gonna go very well or very badly. Hey there. Don't shoot! Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. So they were scavengers, but not with you. Well, they were kind of with us. I mean, we're not really used to working together. It's not like anyone is in charge. But we do have an agreement. Everyone works together, gets an equal share. When you waltzed aboard the ship, those assholes just kind of lost it. They broke our agreement and paid for it. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were gonna get cratered for sure. He knew I was an army veteran, so he let me on the ship. Army? Isn't that some old world mumbo jumbo? Whatever. So you got to see the inside, huh? All that salvage, the real mother load, just waiting to be stripped and sold. Is all the junk inside really that valuable? Well, yeah, we could keep Diamond City in parts for months with all them gizmos. We'd never have to scrounge in the gutter again. So you talked with a tin can. What'd he have to say? What do you think he said? No freaking clue. The only talking we ever did to that rust bucket was him yelling at us about keel hauling crap like that while his robots tried to murder us so what did he say ironside says you stole a guidance chip he wants it back his guidance chip right you know what he needs it for his rockets the huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat he's nuts rockets why is he building rockets? Who knows? Maybe a bomb. Maybe he'll launch himself into space. Who cares? It's valuable as hell. That's what matters. It's 
screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with him. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This guy's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. Um, I'll ask for what's my reward. What's in it for me? What do you think? The tin can's gonna pay you? Maybe in some freaking doubloons? Stick with us and you'll be rolling in caps. So you in or out? No deal. I'm with Ironsides. You know, the cold, logical part of me thinks this is dumb, but all aboard, mate. Then screw you, asshole. You're lucky we don't gun you down. I still need that thing, though, so... It would be better for all of us if you just leave. What are you looking at? Need something? Talk to Mandy. So if I use a stealth boy... What's your find? You crazy! Whoa! Well, I guess the stealth boy comes in handy. Please stand clear. This is now a free fire zone. I have no intention of ever coming back here after I finish this quest. So I don't really mind pissing off those guys. Unless they, like, you know, start hunting me across the map then that could be a bit of a pain I'd wager SS Constitution. I hear it's parked up. If someone builds defenses like that, they're going to be damn good. Oh, why does he have to be so far away? Why isn't he up on the bridge? Or the deck, or whatever this is. The deck, yeah. I learned that much from Assassin's Creed 4. That's called the deck. This is the hold. Why is he all the way down below us? I don't get it. Being the navigator, you think he'd be up top. Defending the Constitution. But you know, that's just my thinking. Uh okay, I have to go upstairs. Patrolling. What? Oh of course, yeah, he's technically down the bottom of the ship, isn't he? So any doorway, the closest doorway, I assume, that leads <sighs> that leads outside will be the one that's marked on my head. Great. Oh, that—that's the USS Constitution. I hear it's parked up there for tax purposes. Somebody had security issues. Warning. Cool. Beware, soldier. Enemies lie in wait. 
Ah, oh, he's gone upstairs. I really hate this navigator. <laughs> I've only talked to him like what once, but I hate him. He is ridiculously hard to find. Ah, he keeps telling me to go upstairs, but he's not there. Defending the constitution. This is ridiculously complex. Everything about this is ridiculous. Ah, oh, okay, please be on the deck. If he's not up here, I have no idea where he could be. And now I feel like this loading screen is just building up suspense. Like I'm gonna get to the top and it's just gonna be one of those like door sort of signs on the compass. And I'd be like, uh great. The navigator's gone missing. Oh that that's the USS Constitution. Ah, he's up here. Hey, navigator. Ahoy, soldier. Ship recovered. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report. One error remaining. Guidance radar's transmitter is not functional. Requires replacement. What's wrong with the transmitter? Diagnostic inconclusive. No functioning Mr. Handy's available for detailed analysis. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. Now, uh, where is it? I can probably repair it. Uh, Ah, master repairman. Ah, I was really hoping that I had to level up, but clearly not. Alright, so... Where am I going? Travel up there, and then travel down, I think. All I've done is yawn. Oh, I shouldn't really record videos at 3am. Okay. That is a creepy ass noise and I don't know where it's coming from. Hopefully I... Oh, that's a storm, isn't it? Uh. Ah, I stumbled onto a super mutant base. Okay, almost there.
Ray. Go away. That was such a waste of laser rifle ammo, just to take out two bloat flies. But I don't care. Okay, what am I getting? Fast travel back to the Constitution. Hopefully, I spawn on top of the ship. Yeah. Oh no, it's I have to go in the ship anyway. Or do I? No. That's weird. At current speed. Need. We will arrive at destination in undefined hours. Mr. Navigator. Ahoy, soldier. Guidance system fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain, sir. You've been of service to our noble vessel. Despite ample provocation, I had hoped the guidance chip could be recovered without violence to the scavengers. Even now, they plot their retaliation. Why did you want me to spare the scavengers? I confess they are a blight upon my existence. Those scallywags killed many of my marines. We're down to a skeleton crew due to that filth. But they are citizens of the Commonwealth. Citizens we're pledged to protect against foreign incursion. Which is not without its irony. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. So now can you tell me what's going on? Complete this task and I will gladly relate our mission. Until then, silence, vigilance. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. Someone builds defenses like that, they're building it. Okay, where am I going? Uh, alright, uh, well, I am going to call it quits here, I think. Uh, carry on with this in the next episode, because that looks like it'll require a bit of travelling to get there. Uh, thank you all for watching this episode, it means a lot. God bless you for getting this far. If you could be so kind as to leave a like, Hit the comment section below and maybe hit that subscribe button. By doing any one, two or all three of these, it would help me a great deal and I would be uh, very grateful for it. For now though, that's pretty much it. 
So until the next episode, you guys take care of yourself and have a great day.